Hello, Bobcats and all your other OCPS teachers out there. Uh, I've gotten a lot of questions recently about moving content from one course to another. Maybe you teach two different preps and you don't have all your courses cross-listed like a standard and advanced, or maybe you just want to pull content from last year's class. Either way, we've gotten a lot of questions about it, and I want to talk about how to do this correctly. I've also heard people saying that they're sharing everything to Commons in order to get it to another class, and you definitely don't need to do that. So let's start. We're going to start by being in the class we want to put content into. So again, the content, I, the class I haven't gotten the content into yet. So if I've already done the work in my advanced, then I'm going to go into my standard to bring it over. So in this case, I'm going to go to this year's course and I'm going to pull a course from last year. So this is my current year course. On the right side, I have a button right here that says import existing content. If you don't see that, you can also just go to settings and you can import content from there. But for now, we're going to go to import existing content. Here, we're going to pick copy a canvas course. That's pretty much always what we're going to pick. When you guys click this, you'll only see your courses listed in a drop down here. For me, I see every course because I'm an admin on Canvas, but um, let's say my last year's course was called Shref Tech. So in your case, you would go to the course that has the content in it. So whether you're going to last year's course, like this right here, Shref Tech from 1920, I can see that's last year's course, or whether you're going to another course this year that has similar content, you're going to select that. And then this is the critical part here. You're going to say select specific content. If you're pulling stuff from this year, you don't want to adjust due dates. If you're pulling stuff from a previous year, you might want to adjust dates, either remove them or try to shift them. So if you know that the beginning of the year last year was a couple days short, then you would change the beginning date from last year to whatever that was. I don't remember off the top of my head. Or you can just remove the due dates entirely for any assignments you pull over. Then we click import. Now you notice here, it says course copy. Shref Tech from last year, that's where I'm pulling things from. I did it just now. And now I have this button that says select content. Here, I will see all of my content from my Canvas course, and I select what I want to pull over. So if I want to pull an entire module over, for example, let's say I want my students to work on the P3 personal playlist project now. I've got all the content for that project in that module. I select that, and I say select. That will pull anything contained in that module, whether it's pages, assignments, any connected external tools, any of that stuff will all pull over and get added into my course. So I noticed I completed and it gives me one issue. Let's see what that is. The sync to SIS setting cannot be because without a due date. So it just won't sync to Skyward because it doesn't have a due date. Easy fix. Anytime we import assignments or quizzes of any kind, we need to go into the assignments or quizzes category and go to that assignment. And here's why. Whenever I bring stuff over, it puts it in a category called imported assignments. These will not sync to Skyward. That is not going to sync to Skyward in any way. So I need to go in and I need to move them to a different category. So I can click the three dots, click move to, and then put it wherever I want it. So in this case, the podcast outline would be formative, and then the actual podcast submission, I'm gonna move that to summative. Make sure you always go in and move these assignments out of those categories. I don't want anything in imported content that I'm actually gonna grade, or is gonna get, an get a grade of any kind. You'll also notice when I go to modules, that entire module is now within my course right here all of it's right there and it's all set up and ready to go since i'm not ready for my kids to work on this yet i'm going to unpublish the whole thing and now we're good that's pretty much all there is to it so again you don't have to push the comments first you don't have to go anywhere else you can go to your course where you want the content in and just hit import existing content much easier than what i've seen some people do definitely easier than starting from scratch every time I hope that helps you guys out. As always, if you have any additional questions, you can always reach out to me, bradley.schreffler.ocps.net. I'm glad to help you all out there. And I know you are going to do awesome things with and for your students this year.